Minister Peggy Taylor says about 11 robberies have been reported in the Numbi area where a German tourist was killed on Monday. Kele admits more work needs to be done by the men in blue in combating crime in that area. While this has done some damage to South Africa's third largest tourism market, what are the local officials doing to protect citizens and tourists? Let's discuss this further now. I'm joined by the Mpumalanga Community Safety MEC, Vusi Shongwe. Mr. Shongwe, good afternoon. Thank you for your time here on ENCA and for your patience as well while we were taking live the new premier of Gauteng, Panyaza Lisufi, a short while ago. Is there any latest development you can share with our viewers in terms of the investigation <clears throat> about the attack and the killing of the German tourists on Monday. Uh, thank you, uh, Dan, and uh, thank you to our viewers. Uh, indeed, it is a sad uh, thing to happen in our province and the entire country. It has dented our reputation big time. Uh, now, up to so far, the investigation is going on. Uh, we still have those three uh, people that are still... Uh, under the questioning by the police, and we are very, very hopeful that uh, under the leadership of Lieutenant General Manamela, we will be able to crack this case within 72 hours that we have put ourselves on. This case has highlighted the problems of crime in a particular area, with the police minister yesterday Peggy saying there's been about 11 robberies in that area of Mpumalanga. Why has crime got out of hand there? Yeah, no, then I think uh, uh, we can say it is out of hand. Any crime in the province uh, is taken very, very serious including this current one. Uh, the other 11 that uh, the minister have mentioned are on our record uh, in Pumalanga together with SAPS. They've happened in different areas around our province, not only at the level, I mean, at the, at the place of uh, the Kruger National Park. Some of them have happened in Hrasko, Sab, you know, Pumalanga have a number of tourists uh, uh, beautiful areas. So some of those cases, the reason that they were not cracked, it is because, you know, it happened uh, to the tourists and some of them have decided to leave the country. They don't want to come back and testify. So it makes it difficult for the police and the investigators to be able, you know, to take that uh, particular case to the court for prosecution. Mm -hmm. So we are trying by all means to come up with new means that maybe through virtual system, we can be able to encourage our tourists uh, when they are marked or, you know, robbed in our province to be able to testify even if they are uh, outside our country or our okay. province. So on the ground, on the province now, with this high spotlight, you, Mpumalanga, as you said, is a beautiful province. I mean, your Hraskov, your that whole area, God's Window, and all that area, Kruger Park, very beautiful. Now, this has highlighted the each and spotlighted. What are you, as local authorities, planning to do differently to bring an end uh, to this crime or to the attacks against tourists? Yeah, then, you know, you are asking a very critical question. We, we have put uh, about 420 uh, tourism safety monitors, you know, throughout the province, uh, sharing them with the Mpumalanga Tourism Parks Agency, which is uh, mainly, you know, looking at issues of tourism in our province. They have also put about uh, 280 of those TSMs and their sole purpose is to make sure that they move around the areas where we think our tourists are visiting, you know, your Kruka National Park, your Three Ronda Vales, your Hraskop and so on. So what we are trying to do is to make sure that those TSMs are able to report any case to the nearest police station. They work together with police. Though they are not police, but they are able to be the eyes and ears of the police and security agencies in around those areas. We are also working hand in hand, you know, with uh, 
the business chamber uh, in the province and making sure that we try by all means to deal with these matters. It's just unfortunate uh, then that we had those sporadic cases uh, which have, you know, caught us unguided, you know. Uh, uh, we, we, we're very, very sorry and we are at the same time angry to those criminals. That is why we are going to hunt, hunt them and make sure that we bring them to the book. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon, Mr. Vusi Shongwe, the MEC for Community Safety in Mpumalanga, just telling us what the province is doing post the attack against the German tourists. The plans are in place and they'll do everything that they can do together with the police to bring the culprits to book.